Hi, I'm Vanessa from Jettle and today we're going to be talking about John Donne's poetry and the key themes you'll find in his poems. Before we jump into today's video though, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can get more content like this and continue to improve your analysis. Looking at the key themes of John Donne, the 17th century metaphysical poet, there are only three things he really talks about and they are love, death and redemption. So let's start with love and human connection. It's a really big theme in his early poems as well as his later poems, but particularly in his love poetry. And you'll see as you read his poems that over the course of his life, as he begins to mature, the nature of his love poems change. Initially, they're very erotic and sensual, and this sort of reflects the uh, sexual escapades that John Donne was going through in his youth. You can't exactly call him innocent, but when he marries his wife Anne, his poems change. They become a little bit more mature and a little bit more spiritually elevated in the way they talk about love. And we see this transition because even though his later love poems to Anne are still a bit sensual and a little bit sexual in nature, they're a lot more uh, connected and a lot more intimate as well. And it's a, a very clear difference between a poem like Apparition and then a poem like The Sun Rising, where he's really almost writing about Anne in a very deeply loving and um, sort of intimate way. You could always say that John Donne's love poetry was a departure from the traditional conventions of the Elizabethan court and the way that they wrote about love. It was very chaste, it was usually a woman being the object of desire, uh, but on the other hand his poetry is kind of racy and it's um, extremely emotional and very intimate and it really elevates the work later in his life where uh, he's writing about his own marriage and then after his wife's death it, t it goes a step further and he begins to write about love not just as romance or eroticism but in a, a divine way. Love as uh, being so spiritually elevating it brings him in with a connection to God. And a key theme in these poems where it addresses love is this idea that love can transcend any sort of material or physical limitation. It can transcend death, it can transcend space. Uh, basically love being metaphysical, it takes you beyond the physical. And for this reason, the way he writes about love, particularly in poems like A Valediction Forbidding Morning or um, any of his holy sonnets, love is something that goes beyond the physical and it speaks to the soul. So you'll notice this in many of Don's uh, poems, particularly in his love poems and as well as some of his holy sonnets. John Donne's poems also deal with the key themes of mortality, suffering and death. This was something that he turned his attention to as his wife died and his own health began to fail. And it just goes to show that as a person approaches death or approaches age or illness, they begin to have an intimate understanding and experience of what mortality really is. And what we can get from John Donne's poetry is that mortality gives meaning to life. The fact that we are approaching death or that we're experiencing suffering actually gives meaning to our identity, to our relationships and to our understanding of our own human self. And we see this most clearly in all of his holy sonnets where Donne is grappling with his own imminent death, his own illness, as he himself experienced illness several times in his life that almost led to his death until eventually succumbing to it. This theme of mortality and death leads us into the final key theme of John Donne's poetry, which is redemption or salvation. And because of his religious context, these themes are intimately related. John Donne couldn't really understand death without understanding the possibility of redemption through that Christian paradigm of salvation. And basically redemption is the idea of being saved. And in the sort of religious context of his time and that um, religious belief of Christianity, that meant being saved from sin and the consequences of sin, which is death. So we see this in many of the holy sonnets once again where his fear of death kind of uh, conflicts or is soothed by his belief in redemption. And you'll notice that as he uh, struggles with mortality as a theme, oftentimes he will seem like eager for his death. He's eager for that moment where he can go to the afterlife, where he can experience a connection with God. But he's also afraid of that moment too. He's afraid of dying and experiencing judgment. Um, and having his sins judged. And so this is why 
redemption and salvation become such an important theme in his holy sonnets where he's grappling with mortality because it is it is his belief in a Christian salvation and in redemption that sort of soothes a lot of his anxieties about facing death and his true salvation. And in this way, you can almost say redemption connects with love as well, the metaphysical nature of love, because it comes back to this idea that John Donne is saved through the love of Jesus Christ as his redeemer or his religious savior. Let's look at a, a particular response that connects some of these themes. And you can see the way that the themes and the values often don't stand alone. They do sort of intersect and you can choose to sort of write in a way where you connect multiple themes or you just focus on one. In this particular piece of analysis, we've written reflecting his Christian values done response to suffering and mortality through the theme of redemption, employing apostrophe and personification to directly insult death. Death be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so, thereby diminishing its powers. So in this particular response, we've talked about two key themes, the first being mortality and the second being redemption. And it's clear how they connect with one another. We've also connected these themes back to the context and the values by linking it to his Christian values in order to make it clear how uh, John Donne's worldview plays a role in the way he's expressing his message or his thoughts. And of course, in the actual way we've structured this paragraph, we've made sure to reference our key techniques and link these techniques to our analysis of the quote from the poem, Death Be Not Proud. So it's a really uh, succinct way to connect the context with the techniques and link this to the quote in order to give a deeper understanding of these key themes. You don't always have to talk about the themes in a connected way. You can choose to talk about one, but obviously because the themes are connected and there's a sort of linking integrity throughout all of the poems, it's not surprising that there'll be times you can connect them together easily and uh, basically find a way to link all your themes together. And this is great because if you're writing an essay, you wanna be able to use your analysis in many ways and connect your themes in many ways depending on what the question's asking you. You can see the way that John Donne's poetry connects all of these key themes throughout his work in order to get across his particular uh, worldview and message in a way that resonates with audiences. If you like today's video, make sure you subscribe to our channel or head over to our website, jettle.com, to find an even more comprehensive guide to your texts.